Welcome to another edition of Sprout Central. This is a show about community where we help people take their dreams and build a community. A couple of weeks ago, we, we had artist Julia Reyes on the show, and she talked about community, she talked about entrepreneurship in the art business, and I hope a lot of the artists and the working artists out there caught that show and got, a, and got some good advice. We're going to continue that this week with a new Sprout client, Brian Kent, who's an artist. He's a tattoo artist who moved here from, from Iowa, loved it so much he decided to stay, and he's also a visionary entrepreneur, and we're going to talk about some interesting things in the art world with with Brian Kent. Today we have Joey, as usual, on the show. Um, the Sprout assistant, Joey. Joey? It's good to be here, Dennis. Always a pleasure. I missed it, man. I've missed it for the past couple of weeks. Yeah, you know, I got called up to corporate. I and, heard about uh, we'll that. To, there are some things they want to talk about. They wanted me to talk to you about. And they said, just do it on the show. So we're going to have to cover that all right, all in right. a few minutes. So. Um, everything going all right in your world? Yeah, it's been a really busy couple of weeks for me. I'm getting yeah. the Silversmith building. Uh, we got a building, and we're getting that built out, scraping the floors and all kinds of air working, getting the water turned on. It's a, it's a lot to get a business started, yeah. especially when you're in a place that has to be completely built to suit. So. Right. It's hard work starting a business. Look, we're going to talk about what you're doing, and we're going to talk about entrepreneurship in the art world today and we're going to talk about the new thing that's coming on Sprout Central right after this. We'll be back. All right, this is the biggest Sprout alert so far. If you've got a business idea or you want to get your business funded, you need to be in the Sprout Garden next season on Sprout Central where we're gonna have 10 people in, we're gonna have a bunch of people in, we're gonna, and we're gonna evaluate your business opportunity, we're gonna judge you, and then one of the people is gonna get funded right here on the show. What do you think about that, Joey? I think it's Austin Dennis. We're gonna judge them on profitability, community impact, uniqueness, the presentation, their team power, their initial equity, and their marketing strategy. So it's gonna be a really in-depth judgment to make sure that they're gonna be super successful with the money okay. we give them. Big deal marketing strategy. Think about how you're going to sell that stuff. Okay, what we're doing is we're asking people to email in their, their business plan or call us and get some help, right? And, and come on the Sprout Garden next season where we help you take your dreams and build a community. Welcome back. We're starting a new thing today, or we're going to talk about a new thing today, and it's called the, the Sprout Garden Competition, or I think that's what we're calling it. Joey, what are we calling our new thing? Well, uh, I mean, this is the first I've heard of it. I think Sprout... No, we talked about it. Remember we were talking about it at, our, at the rehearsal? Okay, so that new thing. Yeah. Right on. Okay. Uh, Sprout Garden, I think is what you were... I think that's what we came up with. That's what we were going to settle on. Sprout Garden. Sprout Garden. Garden is, what is it? What is that? So it's going to be a competition, right? We're going to try to fund a business. Or we're not going to try to fund. We're going to fund a business. Right. We're going to find a business to fund. And right. this whole thing came up because, you know, we were off for two weeks and we re-ran the, the Lauren Turner episode. If you if you missed that one, making groceries at the Or, mm, 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 they got some great food. I had the watermelon juice there the other day. It was delicious. And then we ran the, the Robbie D'Angelo Human Optimization Expert episode. I think everybody needed to see that one again. He was great in that one. But they called me up there and they talked about today's the season finale. We'd have to do a season finale and then we have to do something different so for next season. All right, and before we really talk about that, I want to hear more about corporate, because you went up there, right? So what yeah. was that like? I mean, I've never even been. I get the letters in the mail, but and we had, you know, one time somebody came down from corporate, but I've never actually... Yeah, that guy was scary. He was, yeah, I mean, I don't even... We, he, did he, have, he had a face, right? Because I, I don't remember he seeing had, a, he had a, a face. He thing like, over his face. It was vague. Yeah, it was, it was very vague. So but tell me tell me about corporate. What's okay, the, so yeah, I went up there, and, they, and I went into, a, you know, the corporate meeting room, but I don't know if it's the social distancing or contactless or what, but they were behind a big screen. So it was only kind of like shadow figures talking to me. And they went through all the episodes and they talked about, you know, writing the business plan. They asked questions about business plans and then asked how many people are writing into the show and sending in their business plans and things like that. Okay. Did they, have they, 
they mention the jacket? Because I still don't have a jacket. I know they wanted me to get a jacket. Did they mention that? You know, I think they were. They said something about. They asked me if we had any sponsors for the show, and I said, "Well, no, we don't. We don't do that." Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think they wanted maybe. Mm -hmm. I think we talked about you getting a sponsor for the I show. I was supposed to get a sponsor for the jacket. Yeah, but I don't think mm -hmm. they care about that too much. I don't know. It seems. It seems like it's a thing. I think it's a thing. I think it. I think we should have probably gotten a jacket sponsor. We should probably look into getting some bigger sponsors. You think they want us to get sponsors? I think they do. We're trying to help the people here, Joey. We're just doing a, a this show is more about serving the community. I don't, I don't know. I think they want us to get sponsors. Yeah, I because, think they do. I think we should probably look into money. it. Because of the money? Because of the money. They want to make money? They want to make money. Yeah, they probably want to make money. Plus, they also, we need to, we need to make some money to, to fund, you know, a business. Because we're going to find 12 people. We're going to find 12 businesses to, for the Sprout Garden, right? Right. The next season. And one of them is going to win. What do we settle on? Okay, so here's what we're doing, folks. We're we, corporate really wants us to do this. We're we're going to have a, a new season, season two of, of Sprout Central. Is it's going to be a competition where we talk about, you know, where we bring, we, we pick business people in or people with ideas, kind of like some of the other shows on TV where they come in and they get funded, right? Sure. We're going to have a couple of them on every show and they're going to tell us their idea. Mm -hmm. We're going to do that for several episodes and then we're, once we get enough people where we can kind of have an elimination, we're going to have an elimination and we're going to ask them some questions, poignant questions that maybe an investor would ask, like things like profitability. But what, you know, is your, you know, how do you know your business is going to be profitable? So if you're writing your business plan, that's something that, that you need to think about right now, is how do you know that your business is going to be profitable? And the next thing is what? what, what do we yeah, so community impact is going to be the next thing that we talk about. And it's one of those things that's really important for a business to be successful, is whether or not it's unique in the community, whether it offers something that people want to go back to it for. You know, franchises make it because they're, they're comfortable and everybody knows what they are and that's I think why McDonald's actually got successful because they knew if you're driving down the interstate and you stop by a McDonald's you know you're gonna get the same burger you get in wherever else you are but local businesses small businesses that make it make it because they offer something to communities that the communities need so that's right. one of the things we're gonna talk about is how does your business impact the community and what does it offer to the community that's unique to your business which is actually kind of bleeds into our next topic which is uniqueness so how unique is your business? Not only how does it affect the community, but how unique is it? If it's, you know, if you've got uh, an idea that's, and this is one of the reasons why we're doing these a lot of different categories, is that maybe your business isn't super unique, but it offers something else in some other category. Maybe you don't have the strongest profitability or you don't have the strongest uh, community development impact, but your business is so unique that it's a, a, a really strong you know, right. impact unique on whether you're going to be successful. Right, unique is a good thing. But it can also be a unique approach to an old business, right. if you think about it. And we've got a guest on the show today that's got that. So, and that's why I want him on here, because that one thing, uniqueness. Also, we've got we to gotta give him some other guidelines to go by. So we want, we want everybody to come in. If you want to be on the show, write us or call us and let us know that you want to be one of the contestants. We want to see your presentation. We want to know if you're a team builder, because people that are successful build teams around exactly. them. Absolutely. Even, and, and here's an important thing. Have you ever heard this, fake it till you make it? <laughs> have you ever heard that? I have heard that before. Don't fake anything at all. <laughs> here's, here, and no, seriously, because it's, it's act as if. You, you, you be who you are. If you have a dream and you have a goal, that's who you are. You are your dreams. You are the steps that you take to make those dreams. So if you Absolutely. have a dream and, and you and you want to be a fashion designer, be a fashion designer from day one. Don't fake anything, but be it. So right. team team building, team power. Right. Right. That's a big part of, of what we're looking for Absolutely. in our contestants. Then initial equity, you know. We call it skin in the game. Have you ever heard that term? I have heard that term as skin well. Skin in the game. Skin in the game. Right. Mm -hmm. You gotta have a little. You gotta have a little scratch to put in there. Absolutely. To, of your own, just yeah. to, even if it's just to get your concept up to the point to where you can present it. If it's a if it's a new product, well, you gotta build a demo. Right, and it makes a huge difference to have something to bring to the table. You know, I went out there 
and I ended up buying all the equipment that I needed for my silversmith studio. And because I now have all this equipment, I need to have somewhere to put it. So it pushes me to work harder to find it. And I actually found an investor to put up some money for the first couple of months worth of rent to get the electricity turned on, to get the water fixed, get the AC fixed, all this other stuff. So having skin in the game and having that initial equity is huge to pushing you towards Joey, getting you. You're not selling the temporary tattoos, are you, for money? No, I told you, man. They're covering most all right, of my body. All right, because they, it says on it not for resale. Don't. That's. I'm not selling temporary okay. tattoos. Hand to the. You know, whatever. I, I'm absolutely not. So. So you're bootstrapping it. I am bootstrapping it. I'm out there scraping linoleum tiles off of the floor with a hand scraper. I actually have a little blister on my hand from uh, from yesterday's experience of spending seven hours scraping a floor. Well, I'm proud of you, and your lender is also going to be impressed with you now. There, there's something really important. We're, we're going to have, next season, we're having the, 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 the competition. Last thing I want to talk about, and it's got to be really short because I have something else to talk about, is marketing strategy. Show up with a marketing strategy. How are you going to sell yourself or your product, right? Write it down. If you have any questions about marketing strategy, email us or call us, and we'll talk to you. We'll even help you write your presentation and get you on the show. Did you have something? Yeah. On so marketing about that strategy? marketing strategy, actually, one of the one of the things we're going to do for that marketing strategy is social media presence. So if you don't have anything on social media and you're trying to start a business, I'm learning. You know, I didn't have an Instagram. Um, I do have a Facebook, a personal Facebook, but I've created an Instagram for the business and a Facebook for the business, and I'm using that to start pushing and you know sharing pictures of. Oh, this is what I'm doing today. I'm scraping the floors today, and people are like, Oh, look, he's actually doing it. This is. I got all the equipment here. I got all these stones. You know, like so. I don't have any silver jewelry to sell yet, but people are already seeing my name. People are already seeing my business. I'm already starting to make those connections with people that is going to turn into money down the road. Pre-opening marketing strategy. Before exactly. Before you ever sell a thing, you want everybody to know you about you so, that you possibly can. And that's how we're going to judge people is based off, in, in that particular category, is where they start when they come to us and then where they are come competition time. So right. they, if you don't have anything yet you know, and you're, and you're getting started, make sure that you have something when you come in so that we can have a, a base point to start, you know, to compare it to uh, later on down the line. Okay, so we got the competition. If you want to be on the show, if you want to be in the competition, so send us something. Uh, email us, write us. But there's something else going on. You know, we have this thing we say at the beginning of the show that kind of describes our business, and it's called we help people take their dreams and we build a community, and we're. We're building, step by step, we're building a community right now on, on the Gulf Coast and in other places in the country, but it doesn't seem like we're very unified as a community. community. Joey, what do you think about that? I think there is a lot of division uh, out there in the world. I think there's a lot of narrative in the media that, that tries to convey this divide that I honestly think isn't really there. Like I think that if you if you talk to your neighbors and you talk to the people that you interact with on a daily basis, you know I don't feel negatively or, or angrily or hate anybody that I you know come into mm -hmm. contact with. I think I take everybody on a case by case basis, and I think a lot of people out there do the same. Hey, love your neighbor first of all. We're building a community, so we want a unified community to build. And if if you if anybody's telling you to 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 hate. If anybody's telling you that you're different or there's a problem that you shouldn't like someone because of their complexion, any of these things, if you're hearing that on the news, turn that off. Go watch an extra episode of Sprout Central because we love you and we love our community. And we're going to build a beautiful community of artists, entrepreneurs, people making a living for themselves, their family, and generations of people just through this television show and our work at Sprout Community Development Entity. And that's, that's, that's what we want to create, is unity within our community. Absolutely. Not so. to uh, end it on a divisive note, but I think I win the sock wars. And we can't, I can't let that go. Without, ah. Because I know that, uh, we talked about it earlier, I noticed that you came ill-prepared, and I brought John Lemon I thought you were going to let me off the hook, Joe. Nope, nope. All We've right, got well, 10 seconds left, and I had, to, I had to mention sock. John Lemon Joe's socks. the winner of the sock war.
Dr. Timmons, tell us about your practice in downtown Ocean Springs. Well, we've been here since 2006. Uh, we're a digital dental practice where we do digital impressions and Invisalign, uh, same day implant crowns and guided implant surgery, et cetera. So a person can literally come in and have the implants done in one day? In one day. Um, sometimes people break a tooth off at the gum line, unfortunately, and we're able to extract that tooth and place the implant and place a crown in one two hour visit. Okay, what is the contact information? What's the most convenient way for people to reach out and make an appointment and get in contact with your, your dental clinic? Uh, on Facebook, on our Facebook page, or TimmonsFamilyDental.com. Thanks for being with us today on Ocean 7. Thank you. Edward St. Pei with Nathan Prescott Hi. from Law Focus. Hello, Nathan. Hey. Law Focus, we have it every Wednesday at 10.30, AM and then again a repeat performance at 6 p.m. Sure. So tell us, what is Law Focus all about? Well, Law Focus is sort of self-explanatory and it is a show focused on the law, but an ancillary sort of arm to that is that Law Focus involves the law in you. It involves how the law affects your day-to-day -day life. Through the shows, we've addressed the Landlord-Tenant Act, we've addressed trademarks, copyrights, constitutionality of issues, criminal issues, and even current events that exist in the law with different types of things that come up. So anything that affects, that involves the law and affects you is fair game for law focus and we're proud of that and we try to put out a new product a good bit. Well, it's a, a, a situation that affects everyone. The law affects everybody and we're happy to have this program. Thank you for being with us every week on Law Focus. That's Law Focus every Wednesday at 10.30 a.m. and again at 6 p.m. on Ocean 7. Thank you. back and just like I promised we have Brian Kent on the show. Brian, welcome to Sprout Central. Give me a little Sprout Central dap. Thanks man, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Brian's an artist, a tattoo artist and he's, he epitomizes what we we're looking for in Sprout Garden and I couldn't be more excited. He's the perfect guest for for talking about and introducing the Sprout Garden. Brian, what what's your what's your passion? Well, my passion uh, I found um, started 3 years ago uh, is tattooing. Um, but I want to change the outlook of how uh, people look at tattoos and people with tattoos. Um, and that's kind of what I'm pushing for, is yeah. a, a, a different outlook on it. Yeah, changing it as a whole. Yeah. Do you love what you do? I do, yeah. Um, it's, uh, it's a lot of work, but you know, um, when you find your passion, you, you dive headfirst into it, and right. that's all you, you know. I, I, yeah, it's taken me over, basically. Um, tattooing has in, in a good way, very good way. Okay. Yeah. Well, tell the folks just a little bit about how you and I met and what's going on there. Well, um, I have been trying to push myself um, to get my own uh, shop eventually and um, was able to get in touch with you through a friend of mine uh, and, and we had a meeting and, you know, since then it's been great. <laughs> uh, you invited me on the show and, you know, I see what, see what happens from here, really. You know, and my apologies to Brad Arnold from Three Doors Down. We were trying to get him on the show for the season finale because we wanted to have a big star. But this guy, my bad, Brad. He's such a big, you know, he's 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 a big entrepreneur. He's got a big idea, and he's one of the most motivated people, I guess, unafraid. And that's what we want to, the message to be to, to to our viewers is: don't be afraid to take that step. If you want to be on the, if you want to be on the competition, and and be on the show, send us something, call us and take the first step. Let me ask you, Brian, were, were you afraid to, to go out on your own as an entrepreneur? Was that scary? Um, I, I would say it's a bit, kind of scary, you know, um, the element of unknown, you don't know what's going to happen, um, right. but it's the risk. You got to take risk to get reward. Um, I feel that's the main thing. And so just pushing and uh, pushing for what you believe in, you know, it's inside me. It's not just something that I'm faking. It's a uh, you know, I'm diving headfirst into it, and uh, whatever steps I got to do to get there, I'm going to do it. You know, whether it be, you know, I'm sure there's going to be some uphill battle and a lot of hurdles, but hey, you know, that's what it's about. There, there are. There's always uphill battles and hurdles in the entrepreneur life, but right. it's well worth it, especially for people like us who just who want to be on our own, making our own decisions, and, and making money in life. You, you mentioned that you, you kind of want to change the perception of, of 
the tattooing industry or the tattoo art industry. What, what are some thoughts there about <clears throat> ways to change the perception? What, what, do you well, think? The, what I'm trying to um, push, I guess, is you know, um, some of the older generations, you know, job wise, you get, uh, you don't get a job because of the fact that you have a certain set, uh, tattoo or whatever the case may be. I'm actually trying to change, not the name of it, but uh, like life mark. I want I wanted to represent something that was important to you in your life. Um, you know, you get a birthmark when you're born and then you get a life mark when you feel significance towards something that um, means that much to you that you're willing to take to the grave with you. Uh, and I just feel like there's a lot of kind of negative image with the, some of the older generation um, as far as new tattoos and where we're going with it. It, it doesn't have to be a negative image. It, it, it's art. And, um, you know, these people are walking around with my art each and every day. And it, it's I'm honorable. You know what I mean? I, it's super cool. Um, and I think, uh, you know, it's a way of people expressing themselves without having to do it through clothing or whatever. Um, and I just want it to be done right, and I want it, you know, the outlook to be different. Um, I don't want it to, to be, you know, um, criminals and, and all this that have tattoos, that, you know, because it's not. That's not the case. It's, it's yeah, everyday people. Brian, do I look like the kind of guy who has a tattoo? Do you think I have one? Um, I don't know. See, that's Take the thing. Guess. I would say no. I do. I have a tattoo. See? Well, see, that's the thing. You, it's hard to tell anymore. You, you just, you don't know. Um, a lot of, especially our generation, you know, about, I'd say, 70% of them have a tattoo, a small tattoo. And so that's what we're just trying to get everything, you know, again, back to the different outlook of everything, of, right. of the tattoo community. Um, we're not, we're everyday people <laughs> working very hard. It, it doesn't stop. So you're currently working right now right. as a tattoo artist right. at, a, at a shop, and mm -hmm. you want to make the move and, and start something new right. in the tattoo industry. Right. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to, um, you know, nothing against the shop that I'm in. Um, you know, I think each artist wants to have their own kind of vision, uh, and that's kind of what I'm pushing. And I, the reason I'm doing it this way is that I've never seen anything done the, the way that I want to do it. Um, and so, uh, you know, I'm going to just keep pushing towards it, you know, whatever I got to do. That's, that's the, the message. That's, if, if you remember anything from the show, remember, if you want to be an entrepreneur, you're just trying to create an additional income stream. Keep pushing towards it and do what you got to do. That's really important. So you were talking earlier about, about bringing, you know, kind of changing the perception of the older generation and kind of blending it with the newer generation, right? Right. Now, Joey and I, you saw us, you were in the audience earlier talking about mm -hmm. um, community and unity and how we want to, we would love to see the whole country unified instead of separated and not be thinking about all these things. Right. What do you think is something you can learn from the older generation or a reason for the older generation to... Well, to I think that we should take them as a mentor. Look, I mean, you guys have lived life in, in the, the younger generation coming up. Um, we don't know everything um, and we need some guidance, whether we like to admit that we want some guidance from you guys or not, but we do. You know, um, you... you uh, have the pieces of the puzzle that I don't necessarily and that I, I look for and um, advice and, and I look for a mentor basically in your generation and I want to show that with what I'm doing, you know, it's possible to talk to someone who doesn't have tattoos, who, uh, you know, I, I don't judge you for not having them so you shouldn't judge me for having them type thing. Um, and that's kind of the way that I want everybody to look at this um, as a whole. Um, Tattoo shops are intimidating, and I want it to be more of a relaxed and um, personable experience. You know, um, cozy is a good word that I always think of. Is I want it to be cozy for my clients because um, they open up more, and then the more they open up, the more um, they tell their friends and then their family. You know, the experience they had. So that's the main main focus for me. But as far as when it comes to you guys and, and the older generation, it. Uh, Again, you guys have already kind of paved the path of, you know, through business or whatever the case. Um, so I'd like to seek a little bit of knowledge, whatever I can from you guys, if you're willing. That's one of the, the jobs of Sprout Community Development Entity is mentoring young business people. Right. And we do it. It's, it's part of our Sprout Community Fund efforts where we, we, we want to help people start their job, start their business, start their income stream, whatever it is they want to do. 
and, and it's free to call us, it's free to come use the Sprout computer. I want you to come use the Sprout computer and write your, your business plan for your future business. No matter how far down the road it is, it's time to start writing your business plan, and I want to help right. you do that. Right. And uh, I want you to help me, too. I want you to help me um, build the concept of a community through this Sprout community. Well, I already concept. started helping a little bit discuss. when I was in the crowd. I did. Oh, you're, I saw you I in the audience. Bit. I was wondering, what's Brian doing? Yeah, I was just doing attention. a quick little doodle. I mean, got oh, the Sprout yeah. Central there. Get a call. There you go. Down. That looks cool. Are we, we're in on that? <laughs> I don't even know how to work these. There you go. <laughs> All this technical equipment here, right. it's amazing to me. Yes, well, I actually did it with the pen. Television. But yeah, um, well, that's just so a little cool. doodle, just you know, trying to, to help. Do. I was wondering if you were maybe just passing notes over there in the audience or no, something like no, that. No, 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 no. Around. Well, goofing around, but in a good way. <laughs> well, awesome. In a good way. Maybe that's the tattoo I'll get. I'll get a Sprout Central <laughs> there you tattoo. There next, next tattoo. I think if it's I a good... If I ever feel like I deserve another tattoo. That's one thing is I don't just get tattoos. They're, it's kind of a it's a way to mark a, a milestone a with art. A life mark. Right. Like I said. And, and I love art, so body art. Beautiful thing. Right, Beautiful it is. Thing. It is. But yes, I'd be honored if you were uh, to get my Sprout Central <laughs> doodle. <laughs> Once we get you up and going, I'm going I'm, I'm to come in for a tattoo. I'll hit Damn. my milestone and we'll do Fantastic. that. Good. In the meantime, let's just kind of uh, talk about a couple of more things before we have to go. We're going to have to go soon, but we, Joey and I were talking about you know ways, ideas that we can unify the community, and then <clears throat> um, and th you know things that that. I don't know. Make the make the community yeah, want to work together. I have some. Well, I have some other. ideas. Um, some of my ideas are to bring in a, a, an artist that otherwise wouldn't get known or shown um, each month or something, and their their work is, um, you know, up up in the building or whatever. If I if and when I get a building, um, their gallery basically for a month, and then that way that artist is getting a little bit of, um, you know, exposure, and uh, and then just kind of go from there, see what happens. You know, it's kind of one of those. Um, you don't know until you try type thing. So it's just feeling it out, but I think um, that would help. I'd like to do programs with um, younger generation, like little kids, as far as showing them, again, that tattoos is not a negative uh, image, not a criminal act or something like that. You don't have to be a criminal to have tattoos. It's, a, it's a, just another form of art and really important one because these people are wearing it forever. You know what I mean? And uh, and I want to be able to, to share knowledge with these people that tend to not want to necessarily pay the high dollar, but you are also, you know, um, yeah, you, you pay for what you get, and you're wearing it forever. So right. wear it, do it right, you know. Right. I, I definitely want wanted my tattoo to be right, and I, I went all the way to Tampa because that's where my best friend, friend recommended that I go. Nice. Not just to get a tattoo, but I did get the tattoo while I was there specifically right. for him. Yeah. So you've got some ideas of, of building a community and a t or a team around your business. I'm right. sure you've got a marketing strategy. Yeah, yeah. You're well known, uh, uh, kind of on the coast and the in the the art. Community. Well, I'm I'm still new down here. Um, you know, I came from the Midwest, um, but yeah, I uh, so I'm still gaining my my marketing, but I'm pushing towards it what I need. Right. Yeah. So the art gallery inside the tattoo that's fantastic inside the tattoo uh, shop. It's a great idea. Look, if you want to be on the Sprout Garden, write us, call us. If you want to get your business funded, next season's the time to do it. Don't miss it. I don't know when we're coming back. In October, Sprout Central with the Sprout Garden, where we take your dreams and we help build a community. So be a part of your community and love your neighbor.